Hi guys, what's up? I hope you guys are doing great. In today's video, we will dive into JavaScript file handling. Yes, through the JavaScript, we can read the file and JavaScript supported JSON, CSV, text file. Might be in the future, it can support it excellent word file also. Along with the file handling, we will create a dynamic form also. In the JSON file, we have some configurations. According to that, we will create a form like checkbox, drop down, input box, such kind of thing. Even we will show some validation also and we will customize the validation masses also. All these things will be come from the JSON file. So let's jump on the demo of it. And guys, this is our ninth JavaScript project. Thank you all of you who was watching and who was following this JavaScript series. So in this demo guys, we need to upload a JSON file. Suppose we have this JSON file. When we click, we need to upload a file. We need to select file. Once we select a file, we can see a form is generated. Even we have option also, all these things coming from that JSON file only. When we submit the form, we can see we have some validation also. So even validation we have with the proper masses also. So JSON file structure will be guys in this one. So we have fields inside it we have ID so that we can uniquely identify all the controls. We can show the label on the top of the every control. We have type it will help us to identify the what control we are making it. It could be the text or it could be the checkbox radio drop down also. Do we want to make a required for validation purpose? Other validation we are putting inside in it this object we can make the validation as an array also inside in it we can write down one by one validations and inside in it their specific masses also could be possible but i'm making this much only because otherwise the video will be get lengthy but we can increase the functionality of it also similar to this one we have email address also and we have some pattern regular expression pattern also we are validating here we have min or max validations and this is guys select drop down and these are the options we have and this is the comment area and this type is actually text area so by this json we are generating a form with validations so let's start the coding part of it and guys this is our ninth project already we created the eight project all the source code you will get it in a github repository and that link i will put it into descriptions so first thing we will create a html file so in the html file i just created a blank html file and added this style and the script tag. script does not have anything even the style also does not have anything so here i'm adding a style guys style is very basic style very basic css if you guys have any doubt in the style please let me know i will help out you so if you are a beginner for html and css i will give the recommendation you guys can go through the w3school.com website there is very basic things even if you guys want to learn from me i can make a one video also on html and css there you can learn it also so guys i have one question for you why we are writing down script tag just before the closing body tag why not in the head sections you guys can write down in the comment why we should be write down only here here we'll create a container class and container okay. inside in it we will actually make our complete website first we need to be write down heading below this one we need to be write down the file upload so this section is the file upload inside in it will make a input and type is the file only now remember guys this type is file we need to give and we are accepting the json okay and this is the we are giving one ids ids we are giving so that we can through this id we can actually get this control into javascript and one more thing we required one container so that we will place our form inside in it okay this is our html part so to run this html file we will right click and open with live server you will get live server in directly over here if you don't does not find out over here you can install a extension also over there you can go and just type it the live server there you can install the extensions just click on open live server it will open a website and there we can see it also and guys one more thing when we will make any input control of the file type the look and feel will become like this one right now i'm just hiding because this look and feel it's not so much rich so i just make a button so when we click the button ultimately it will click this one only so you can see this is the label so when i click it will click only this one only so it is just hiding behind of it so to hiding it i'm just making it display them okay so we can make it this one also or either we can make some beautifully like this one you can make some icon or something else also okay and here the our form should become next part we need to be write down the javascript so to write down the javascript first we will create a event add event listener and we will write down document dom content loaded once the dom is loaded then we want to do something here we'll use the one of the arrow functions inside it we will write down all the logic so what logic we need to write down first we need to be get the file input file change input file change. after that we need to make it generate form then we need to be write down validate form 
so this we will complete in these three steps so before this three step guys first we need to be get this json file input and form container and both is id so simply we can read it these two things file input like given and this file input is we should be how this is the same file input so i need to be just replace this id so this id guys it should be this id so through this javascript method document dot get element by id we can get that or we can fetch this html control over here same way this is the container and it should be come over here so these two control we will get it over here now we need to write down one event for file input change so we'll write down file input this one is correct add event listener so this is add event listener and we are making one change on the change we will get one event so in this event we will get the files so we'll see file and all the files we will can get it over here but we required only first file we will check if the file is exist then we will read the file and guys from this file object we will get it all the things like file name file type file the size also we can put it all the constraint and validation also next thing is we need to be read the file so we require reader and this is guys javascript feature or you can say html5 web api feature so this file read, reading we will get the one event okay and before the get event we should be read the file also so we'll write down reader read as text okay, we are reading as a text of the file so this we will read and once we read from the reader we will get it on load so whenever the file will be read it, then the file will be receive it over here we will write down event and here we will read the file so definitely file is json format right so once we read the any json file we should be very curious and we should be do with the try catch only so we'll write down try catch because it could be chances the json could be wrong also so we will do the error handling over here inside it we'll write down the console and here we'll write down the logic Lo logic is very simple we need to be read the json string into convert into the javascript object simple json data and we will get it over here json parser event dot target dot result so from this event we will get the target in the result we will get the json string that we are converting into the json object and this one we will give it to generate form json data so this generate form is guys we will create it over here functions generate form and here we will get it json data as a parameter so that thing we need to write down over here and if we get some error we can write down form container dot inner html yes error invalid json file okay so this kind of message we can show if we get some error and over here we need to write down the if we get it actually correct data then generate form we need to be dynamically creative form okay and um, one more thing if you get error into generate form also it will take care by this try catch only so that is the good thing for us next thing is we will create a string form html and here we'll create a form tag normal form tag of the html form and we will give some id and we will say dynamic form with the no validate guys why we need to require no validate please write down the comment what is the meaning of no validate and what this attribute will do please do the google write down the answer of it into comment sections okay so this is a string that string we will use it for later on also to concatenation and we will make the complete form and guys as we know that in this json we have the fields and field is array so on this array we can run a loop right so we will run a loop on over here so we'll say json data dot we will get the fields and we will get run the for each loop we will get one by one field and inside in it we will write down the logic so logic is very simple we need to write down one switch condition on the basis of this type we need to make text box or either the drop down or text area okay so first thing is to wrap a html control in a div tag we will create a div also so in the form html we are doing concatenation so whatever the form we have after that we will create a div on each field wise okay and after that we will make a label also and label is we will get for for this particular id and this is the label and label already we are taking care over here right so we will get the label finally we'll need to write down switch case and here we'll write down fill type and we will write down the logic inside of it so the first case is we need to be write down the so for these cases guys like text box email id and phone number we need to create an input box only right so if we have to write down the same logic for the number of the case we can write down like even 
so keys and the logic will be goes over here so we will write down over here so this is simple guys we need to make a input control input type should be whatever the type we will get it over here id also we will get it from this json only name also we will get it from the json required we should not write down like a way because may or may not be we does not have any control does not have the required also like this is false this is a true so we should check if the required is true then we will make required otherwise it should be blank also so this is the correct so we should write down like away. another thing is we need to write down two more case second case is we should write down the select and inside it we'll write down the break another case we write down text area and we should write down the break also so in the select we need to make a first select and then we should be write down option also so this is the select guide as we have the input this is very similar to this one and remember this is the opening tag we should be write down one closing tag also right these are the opening and closing tag in between we need to write down options and one more thing as you can see option is also one more array we have so we can run the loop on it so we will write down till dot option dot for each right this is correct for each one by one option we will get here we are making one by one options every option have the one value let's match it yes and label also we have yes the value should be goes to there and label should be goes to there what it will be display label will be display but once we select a label we will get the value because drop down will be bind the two control one is the value and one is the label label will be display for the user similar to this one we will make a one text area also so here also we'll write down the similar logic text area name so if this is required we will show the required also and guys every control is associated with the one of the label also right finally so after the switch case guys we'll write down one more logic and logic is for error message so for error message we will just make a span tag okay so if any error will become that error we will show inside in it and every error we will associate it with the one of the id from this id we will recognize okay, where is the error right another thing is we should be close this div this div we open we should be close it also so we'll close it over here right and why we need to write down separately we can just make it close it over here also so we don't need to write down one more line right finally this our form is ready and it's running in the loop so now we need to close the form also right so to close the form but before closing we should be have one button also the submit button so we'll create a submit button right this is the submit button and inside in submit button i can close the form also form is now closed right so this is our form is created now we need to be write down form container dot inner stl so this is form container so there we will our form will be just goes inside in it so let's see this one on the browser we we'll just refresh will upload a file and we can see our form is generated but we does not have any validations right and you can see once i submit it our form is also completely post back you can see completely refresh so that we need to be resolved it also so now we need to write down the logic on submit what we want to do so that is also should be goes inside in it only so we'll make a constant form we'll write down document dot get element by id and guys this is id only we given into the form and as we know even earlier also we done form has one event is submit event so we'll write down form dot add event listener submit is the event okay to prevent the post back we click on the submit button it completely post back on the browser so we can just write down event dot prevent default right so that should be there next thing is we need to write down validate form inside in it we will just pass the form data so this completely form data will pass if the form is valid then we will write down one alert message otherwise we won't show any message so validate form we need to make it over here functions validate form and we need to write down logic over here so as we know that validate form will be return a boolean value so first we will make is valid so we are making it by default is valid so if it is any error so we will show the error otherwise by default it is valid and we will get the form data also right and guys one more thing this is not form data this is json data here we can make form data or json data is our choice but on the top we should be get the json data because as we are getting in the parameter json data only so now we need to write down logic over here so to write down validations in this form data we will get it same fields and we need to run the same as a for each loop also so for each and we will get one by one field and here we will write down the logic logic is very simple first we need to get the input control and guys we know that from this id we can get the input control because over here every control wise we given the id right so we'll get dynamically control also over here and one more thing as i told you earlier this span tag also we can get it so 
because in the spend tag will show the error message so we'll get this spend tag also dynamically so fill id hyphen error we'll get it spend tag of every control wise next thing is we need to be write down error message here we'll write down simple if conditions if fill dot required we have the required and when should be required when input value does not have any text input value does not have any value so then we can say this is required so we'll write down error message required otherwise we need to write down some logic and here we'll check the field validation might possible uh, some of the control as you can see we does not have validation so we'll check if this validation is there then only we'll write down some logic so every control wise we'll write down a logic first we know that we will get some value also right and we will write down some logic like here so if field has validation and validation is minimum length minimum length means suppose i given a minimum length is 5 and i am writing down only three character means value of length is less than whatever i given into the validation then we should show this message so this given message every validation we are giving a one message so this message will show similar to this one we can write down for maximum also and we can write down min number and max number also so min and max guys always remember it will work only for number right and final one is we have the pattern also all the validation is very simple if this is there then we will check the regular expression we will check the minimum here we will check the maximum this is simple logic you guys can go through it if you have any doubt any line number you can let me know i will actually explain it also so after this if conditions we will write down if we got some error message then we will say is valid is false right and definitely we need to write down error message also in error span that is correct and this is also fine we are showing some invalid also but if it does not have any error message then we need to be remove this one and definitely we need to remove the css class also right finally outside this loop we should be return is valid right so that's it let's test it on browser we'll upload a file and we'll submit it we can see we got an error message it's working fine and when we submit it suppose abc i wrote down abc at the gmail.com easy suppose i write down 20 and state is fine something submit form is submitted successfully right so after the submit again the form is validated so that's it guy in this video we learned file handling how to make a dynamic form how to dynamically bind element on a dom and guys similar to this one in the next week also we will learn new thing and we'll create a such a professional project you guys can just keep practicing it and just put all the project in your portfolio definitely you'll get a job so thank you guys thanks for watching the video see you in the next video till the time happy coding